on there, but it's a sting here. Um, today we're going to be discussing Ikaras, you know, one of Ken's most important tools. Um, he has four different types of cars, car throw, car hadouken, car SRK, car toss, you can car everything. Most of them, actually three of them, uh, they revolve around the step kick. So what you want to do, we'll start with the car uh, throw. What you want to do is force step kick, and then immediately throw. It takes a step forward if you do it correctly. If you look at the inputs, you can see you're, it's basically a plink. Plinking the, the step kick into the throw. Gives you, it gives you a lot of range. As you can see, right there, I'm pretty far away. It's, it's, it's an extremely important tool to learn. Um, it's an awkward movement at first, but you'll get the hang of it. To, if you want to practice it, you know, go to training mode, turn the inputs on, set on one side of the screen, and just walk your way across the screen. You'll get the hang of it. Just, gotta, just like anything else, it takes a lot of practice. As you can see, I still botch it every once in a while. It's a lot of setups. Um, some of my favorite setups, you know, maybe do an SRK combo. Uh, when he wakes up, car throw him. A couple on the other side of him. A couple of uh, crouching strongs, car throw. Uh, you know, jumping, crouch, jab, jab, car throw. It's good for mix-ups. This one, this one you need to learn, okay? Because this is important when you have Ultra and uh, you're using Ultra 1. Because what happens is, you know, they think you're in a car throw. Uh, then they'll, they'll push a button, you can get SRK, and what happens is that will register as a counter hit and get a full Ultra. So learn this, okay? If there's one you need to learn, it's that one right there. So just practice it. Crouching, or crouching strong, car throw. That's 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 the basis of car throw. One thing you should remember is the magic number three. Three jabs or uh, shorts are the ideal range. Um, anything more than that, you'll be out of range. See, like right there, I did too soon. You have to make sure they're not in stun because it will miss every single time. Um, that's car throwing. It's just learn it, please. Stop mashing DPs. Just learn learn how to play regular, please. Do it for me. All right, next up we have a car Hadouken. What this does is it uh, safely gets you across the screen. You know, if you have a, a Sagat that's spamming their Tiger bullshit, um, they want to move closer, but you don't want to jump. Or a Goken that's doing the same thing. Uh, this will get you across the screen. Um, it's kind of like a car throw, but it's not. Basically, you do the fireball motion, but instead of just hitting punch, you hit, uh, forward, you hit medium kick first, and then you hit punch. As you can see, it moves the camp forward a little bit. Um, you, can, you can do it with uh, either fierce punch or jab. You, know, you can't do it with medium punch because that's going to give you a focus attack. You don't want that. The input is a little bit weird. I, I don't do it very often, so I, I can't do it very consistently. But it is useful if you need to get closer. So just, just can, as you can see, if you look at the inputs, you know it's the same thing as the car throw. It's plinking. It's it's going from you know you're, you're plinking the the step kick into the to the uh, hadouken. See, so you can tell my inputs. I'm missing it sometimes. There we go. It's very it's it's a good tool, but because car you know Ken's recovery on his fireball is shit. If you do it at the wrong time and gets a Shoto, you're done. So just be careful. Do a full screen. Don't do it when you're close. You're asking for trouble. Next on the list, uh, let's see, let's car focus. Ken's focus is ass. It will always be ass. As you can see, it doesn't have good range. But with car focus, you can get an extra little range on it. See how he takes a little step forward? Um, like again, oh, that was too close. With car focus, now it hits. To do this, it's a uh, pretty simple, but it's just my my fingers are fucked up. They're kind of a weird shape, so I can't do it very easily. It's um forward roundhouse, and then you hit focus. If you do it right, instead of standing still, it'll take a step forward. So, so like right here, let's say. 
just did a miss right here. That's not it. Did a miss right there. Car focus. Now it hits. It does make a little difference. Um, if you find it useful, that's awesome. I don't really find it useful. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm perfectly content to do normal focuses, but I do see its use. Um, it's up to you if you want to use that. It is good. It's kind of like a car fireball. You know, if you want to get closer, but you don't want to jump, this will this will help you get closer. So use it at your own discretion. I don't find it very useful, but I, I can see why people do. Again, um, you just want to plink the roundhouse into the car. Or I'm sorry. You want to plink the roundhouse into the focus attack. So it does give you some good range. For instance, there we go. That's a whiff. Oops. That's a whiff. Now it hits. So that's that's Kara um, focus. Last but not least, um, we got the Air EX Kara Tatsu, which has only a single use, and that use being to get out of corners. That's not a Kara. That's just a normal EX Tatsu. You can do that with no problems. This is a very weird input. What you want to do is you want to Kara, or I'm sorry, you want to plink short into EX Tatsu. So when you do it, that's what it looks like. Normal EX Tatsu comes down a straight angle. If you do this right, you fly straight across the screen. It's kind of like a Blanca up ball. Just completely out of harm's way. Um, that's the only use for it. Don't try to combo into it. Don't do anything fancy. It's not going to work. Um, that's that's pretty much all there is to it. There's the only use it if you're in this situation and you know you, you feel like you have a chance to get out of the corner. That's that's what you do. All right, finally I'm just gonna do some car throw in practice so you can see uh, some of the mix ups. So maybe you know untakeable knockdown. Uh, you know just give them a few pokes and throw it in there. Um, do a combo, cancel it. Okay, Ryu, you can't take that. You're not God. All right, there we go. Uh, you know, just mix it up. You know, maybe a crouching short car throw. Um, do a combo, Tatsu. Start another combo, car throw. Uh, EX Tatsu car throw. Um, Jump kick, car throw, and get thrown out of it. Um, got, you know, you can do anything. You just, just fool around with it. It's fun. You know, this is what makes Ken Ken. Learning how to do different things. Uh, you know, you can maybe even like do an empty jump over him, car throw. Empty, empty jump at him, car throw. Let's try that one. Yeah, if you do empty jump at him, car throw. I mean, this is this is what makes Ken Ken. You gotta learn this stuff. Ken, you're not allowed to attack me. What the hell's wrong with you? Just have fun with it. You know, Ken is a very fun character. Oh, watch that one. There we go. I mean, if you have any questions, I'm sorry, I can't explain all this very well. I'm not used to explaining things. I'm just used to doing it. Um, feel free to ask. I mean, his whole game revolves around cars. You need to learn it. Pretty much all there is to say. It's just it takes a lot of practice. I I did not know how to car throw. I didn't know how to incorporate it in my game until maybe you know three months ago, four months ago, and I don't know what I was doing before then. It's important. It's very important. So um, have fun, guys. Keep practicing. Any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, hope this helps.